Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again. So we got our trailer for Season 9, and now it's time to break it down. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I can skip this part. We have stairs. Alright, so we got Rick visiting Negan in his cell, having conversations with him, and probably updating him on what he's missing out on. Cool shot of Hilltop. Okay, so as you can see, a lot of work has gone on over here at Hilltop. You know, we got crops being grown. We've got, I think these are like benches and tables and stuff like that. Uh, we got this dude here pushing a wheelbarrow. I think this is like a pen for livestock. I could be wrong. And it looks like we have a goat. So a lot of work has gone on over here at Hilltop. Maggie has finally given birth. There's the baby. There's a cool shot of Judith. All right, so we got Michonne looking over blueprints for the church. And as you can see, well, there's the church. All right, so we got Rick and Michonne and Daryl here visiting Hilltop. And as you can see, there's a lot more crops outside. And they even have a water tower. Now, Sanctuary here doesn't look so good. Uh, you know, they have a bird problem or crow problem whatever type of bird those are but as you can see it looks like they are eating their crops all right we got michonne spending time with uh judith here you know they got tomatoes and stuff like that pretty cool looking walker and we've got the man himself rick with his new badass mace i mean seriously look how cool that thing looks I mean, I don't know if you can see it all the way up here, but like, there's like spikes coming out of the sides of it, all over it. It looks badass. You know, just like Angela Kang said, uh, they're going to be using weapons, you know, more, not so much guns anymore, you know, because ammo is kind of scarce. Yes, Eugene can make bullets, but I don't know. I think it's going to be a little bit tricky or... You know, there's going to be an ammo shortage, I believe she said. So they're going to have to start using different types of weapons. And, um, you know, there's uh, Rick's mace right there. And Michonne taking a little off the top there. All right, so here's Aaron right there. And as you can see, you know, they're cutting down trees, getting logs and stuff like that. There's Daryl, hard at work. Yeah, there he is, sawing away at the tree. All right, so Rick is over here at the sanctuary. Looks like people are happy with what he's doing. At least most of the people. You can see this dude right here smiling. Uh, and then, of course, we get this guy here. You know, God bless you, Rick Grimes. So these people are, you know, liking what he's doing. You know, bringing, bringing these people in, you know, helping them you know, grow food and, you know, really not enslaving them like Negan did. You know, anytime Negan walks by, you know, they got to kneel and stuff like that. So these people are pretty happy with what Rick is doing. All right, so we got the group at, I know this was the Atlanta Capitol building. I don't remember what they were dressing this up as. I think they were dressing this up as a museum. I believe I could be wrong but um, yeah I think this is the museum museum as you can see they're bringing down a wagon they're gonna start using wagons gas is going to be very scarce even though they have been using gas apparently it wasn't tempered gas so it was very unstable so looks like gas is gone or running extremely low and now they're going back to horse and buggy, horse and carriage and stuff like that. So there we go. Okay, so we got Rick and Tara and we got this encampment outside in the woods. Not sure what's going on, why they're out in the woods. You know, why aren't they at Hilltop, Alexandria, the kingdom? Um, you know, I don't know what they're doing. Just out here in the woods but very interesting and then of course we see Tara here throwing up the peace sign which is pretty interesting you know seeing how 
both these characters were on the opposite side of Rick. Tara was with the governor, and Anne was with the junkyard people. Um, you know, so it's pretty pretty cool that she's throwing up the peace sign and stuff like that. Uh, it looks like everybody seems pretty fine with Anne now. I mean, granted, yes, there is a time jump, so I'm sure tension probably smoothed out a little bit. So, yeah, they seem pretty fine with her now. And then, of course, we're back here with Rick and Negan talking. You know, it's like a really nice story, I think he says. Um, when do I get to see it? So it makes it sound like Negan actually does not get out of his cell. He never comes out of his cell, apparently. Um, you know, I kind of figured they let him out one hour a day, kind of like, you know, most normal prisoners do. You know, an hour of yard time. Uh, but yeah, apparently... Uh, Negan is in his cell 24-7, 365. So, yeah. Okay, got some walkers here. Walkers devouring something, someone. Uh, and then, of course, back here with Negan again. Now, here we go with the uh, little, I don't know, whatever you call this thing, windmill type of thing. Uh, if you look really close, it actually says Commonwealth. So, yeah, Commonwealth right there on the sign. Hint, hint. Okay, Rick and Maggie talking, you know, as soon as the war was over, you said you were going to follow me. But it seems like you're not doing that. So, got a little tension going there. Uh, got some walkers here. Not sure what Maggie's doing out here, but, um, yeah, she is handling business. She is going to town, killing all these walkers. All right, we got Daryl and Maggie. Um, you know, things at the end of Season 8 were, uh, you know, pretty interesting. You know, they were kind of on the same side, so, you know, tension is pretty high. Those two spending some time together. Uh, then, of course, just from the teaser here, like we had, well, during the teaser, Rick coming out of his tent. He's got his bag. He's looking over at, you know, everybody in the crowd. I can't really make out, you know, who a lot of these people are. Of course, we have Carol and Ezekiel over here. But, um, you know, I really can't make out any of these other people. Okay, we got Michonne and Maggie there talking about you know, making some rules, because of course, you gotta have rules. You can't have people running around, hoarding stuff, stealing stuff, taking whatever they want. Um, you know, there must be crime, punishment, you know, things like that. You know, you gotta have rules. You know, if somebody steals something from you, there's gotta be consequences. Uh, and then, of course, we're back here in the wooded encampment. Uh, it looks like we got, like, a portable, um, you know, armory. We got people, um, looks like Oceanside people here, signing out guns and stuff like that. So they can keep track of who has what guns, you know, so that way you don't have people running around armed and stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously, I don't know how well tension is with the saviors. You know, are they still a little little hesitant you know do we really want to give these people guns you know i don't know they were just our enemy you know so who knows but people are signing out i don't know if it's just weapons or if it's walkie talkies um or just equipment in general uh, and then of course we got rosita here some people say she looks pregnant kind of looks like she does i don't know if that's the if that's just the way she's standing, you know, she kind of looks like she's, like, hunched back a little bit. So I don't know if it's just the way she's standing or if she's actually pregnant. Because I believe in the comics, her and Eugene actually have a child together, I believe. I don't know. I fell way behind in the comics. Um, you know, I stopped um, right before the whispers. So, yeah, I'm kind of a little lost on the comics. 
Of course, we got the famous sign here. We've got HQ, we've got Oceanside, we got Alexandria, we got Sanctuary, and we have Toledo. No kingdom, no hilltop, unless hilltop is HQ. I don't know, but, um, you know, I find that, sorry, my nose is really stuffy. Um, I find that very interesting that hilltop and the kingdom are not there. And then, of course, we have Toledo, which is in Ohio, which people say is um, where the Commonwealth is from. So very interesting. Looks like we might be introduced to the Commonwealth pretty early on. I don't know, but um, it seems pretty interesting that they would have assigned to Toledo you know, right there. Okay, we've got, you know, Rick smiling and nodding. Um, yep, I believe that's Arat and Laura, which, uh, you know, snitched on Dwight there, which I wonder if we'll see Dwight again. You know, I'm sure we will, um, but just not in this trailer. So who knows what Dwighty boy's up to. We got Jerry getting a little, uh, you know, a little love in there from, um, I forget her name, Nimbia, Nibia, I don't remember her name, but uh, way to go, Jerry. Okay, and then we got, you know, Daryl here punching um, Zach McGowan's character. I think they said his name was Justin. So these two get into a fight you know you get carol coming out daryl stops so who knows what happened um and then of course we got uh the pan and stuff like that bonk right off the face um so yeah not sure what is going on why these two are fighting um you know i don't know if daryl still not too keen on you know the saviors and stuff like that so you know maybe if the littlest thing sets him off you know, he just kind of loses it, especially against saviors and stuff like that. Or maybe this guy did something, did something wrong. I don't know. And maybe that's why they're talking about we need rules. So we don't have stuff like this going on, you know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe whatever happened, you know, if he said something to Daryl, Daryl wasn't happy about it. Daryl just snapped, you know can't have that stuff going on so that's why we need rules but it could be something different maybe he stole from Daryl I don't know all right we got Rick and Michonne Maggie and of course here's some of the weapons you know more medieval type weapons you know not guns uh, you know get a crowbar and stuff like that or also a tool you know never know all right, we got Carol out here in the woods. And Daryl on his bike, throwing a spear. That's actually pretty badass. I mean, that's a really cool shot. Uh, and then, of course, we have walkers invading. And what's pretty cool is uh, the log roll here. You know, they, I think they broke the, um, you know, the supports and stuff like that. And all the logs start rolling down, which... Uh, is pretty badass that's pretty cool look at that dude he tripped right over it look at that one there uh so yeah looks like some sort of walker horde comes in you know we got rick here with his hatchet we've got father g right back here i think this right here is Anne back here yep so we got everybody running out to defend uh, the camp and stuff like that and then of course you know he chops that dude right in the head at first i thought he was hitting um the support here to send more logs down the uh, down the hill. All right, more Rick and Daryl uh, tension there. We got Henry being a little badass, tripping this dude up for don't know what reason. I think that's the same dude that um, that Daryl was fighting. I think that's uh, Zach McGowan, Justin. So, looks like uh, a fight is breaking out. You know, we got Aaron here against this dude. Yep, so Daryl against Zach McGowan's character, Justin. Um, you know, apparently these two really hate each other. There's going to be, um, I guess, a lot, a lot of hostility between these two. And I don't know what's going on with Aaron and this guy here. 
but um, I don't know, maybe maybe him and Aaron started fighting and he jumped in to defend him and that's where Daryl came in or vice versa, you know, Daryl and Justin started fighting and then these two, you know, got involved. I don't know, but um, pretty interesting. More Michonne and Rick. Uh, we got everybody here going to Sanctuary. And then, of course, we have this. Saviors, save us. We are still Negan. So, no surprise, you know, there'd still be probably a small band of people who are still loyal to Negan. You know, obviously, just in case Negan somehow gets out, escapes, and, um, you know, comes back to the Sanctuary, you know, people there will probably be like hey see we were still loyal to you you know we're still we're still Negan we're still loyal to you you know just in case you know Negan's not happy with the traitors I guess if you will so yeah some people are not happy with uh, what Rick is doing and they want Negan back so we got a standoff here we got Carol and we got this guy here pointing guns at each other and everybody else is starting to um you know rally around these two guys got axes looks like these three got knives and stuff like that so not sure what's happening if uh you know tension's just really high but um yeah these two are pointing guns at each other and carol looks like she gives absolutely no f's she's like yeah what are you gonna do about it i'll take you all on and I'll win. And I'll go home and make cookies. All right, we got Rick and Carol talking. We got Jerry. And we've got a horde coming. All right, so it looks like Father G is blind in one eye, I'm guessing. You know, his eye is whatever you call that. I don't know frosted over I don't know but um, yeah looks like he might have lost vision in one eye and this right here is very scary you know we get the cowboy boots wreck and we've got blood dripping down from somewhere now I don't know. Some people think this might be, that might be the scene where Rick dies. I'll try to see if I can put it together, um, you know, because the trailer jumps around quite a bit. So, yeah. All right, so we got Rick and Daryl again. Maggie killing the walker. More Rick and Negan. You know, you still think you're in control and stuff like that. All right, so as we can see, civilization breaking down, bridges, roads falling apart. Um, you know, we got Rick in a kind of standoff here. It looks like they took out, um, you know, a small group of walkers and stuff like that. We got Anne pulling a bucket off of a walker for some reason. I don't know. Enid. Yep, another walker. All right, so as you can see, they're trying to uh, whoop, they're trying to do what they can to uh, scare away the birds and stuff like that. You know, Walker scarecrows, whatever works. We got Eugene here. I'm not sure what he's doing, trying to keep the peace. Jesus and Maggie, that's a pretty cool shot. Um, yeah, dude stuck on a, uh, a spear. All right, Michonne looking at her uh, at her katana here, thinking she probably put it down, but needs to pick it back up again. Now, this is a very interesting shot right here. We got all the birds and stuff like that, and I think this is Rick here. I'm not sure who these are right here. This one right here looks very silhouette. Looks like a silhouette, you know, just a complete black figure. I can't really make out any, you know, any features, any clothes, any 
anything. It looks like a complete silhouette. Um, you know, I don't know if this is Rick's fantasy, um, if Rick's dreaming or something like that. Um, I know I'm saying um a lot, but yeah. We got a little uh, Carol and Daryl moment there. Now, this is where people think this could be all tied in with how Rick dies. So we got Rick here who looks like he is injured or wounded. You know, he's grabbing his, his side or his stomach or something like that. We've got everybody basically rushing to, to his aid, I'm assuming. You know, you got Eugene here, we got Daryl, we've got Jerry, we've got, um, you know, Carol and stuff like that. And everybody else running towards Rick and stuff like that. So they look like they're coming to Rick's aid, Rick's defense. Uh, we get Carol here pulling out a gun. All right, so we get the helicopter. The helicopter's back and is apparently talking to it on a walkie-talkie. Uh, as you can see, this also has an A on it. A is on everything for whatever reason. A was on the train carts in Terminus. A was on... Um, Daryl's shirt, although I think that was for a different reason. Um, I think, who was it that said it? Was it Angela King or Greg Nicotero that said, um, you know, the A on Daryl's shirt stood for asshole. So kind of a savior humor. But, um, you know, this A on the helicopter here is very interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if it was tied in with like a lot more things like Maybe we were referencing it back in Terminus, you know, A on the train car, but maybe that could be something else, you know, in just the way they had everything listed, labeled, um, you know, boxcar A has six people, boxcar B, blah, blah, blah. So who knows, but I just find it very interesting that, um, you know, the letter A is showing up quite a bit. All right, we got, you know, a little Rick and Daryl there going for a ride. Uh, we got Jesus and stuff like that. Uh, and then, of course, we got a brawl going on. You know, it looks like everybody's fighting. Some people are trying to keep the peace. Um, I don't know what caused, you know, this massive fight to happen. All right, so looks like we've got Anne going back to the junkyard for whatever reason. Maybe she's looking for Morgan. Uh, and then, of course, final warning, whatever whatever that means, whatever's going on there. We got this dude taking uh, Carol hostage. You know, he's got a knife to her throat, so not cool. We've got, uh, you know, Rick and Daryl here having, um, you know, basically kind of like a throwdown. You know, I thought we are on the same side. Well, that's up to you. You know, so... Here comes the horde, and this, I don't know if that's Rick. So the way everything ties in, apparently from what some people, some rumors and stuff like that, uh, if we go back to, um, you know, the scene where Rick was on that bridge, I think it was a bridge, and he was holding his side, that's where Rick gets injured, and then we got the, um, you know, the, the boot shot where... The boots were walking, blood was pouring down, and then maybe this shot here is where Rick gets on a horse and leads a horde of walkers away. Kind of similar to the way he said it in an interview, you know, how he would like Rick to go out is leading a horde of walkers away and stuff like that. So maybe that could be, could be the way it ends. I don't know. All right, we got Daryl kind of being a badass here, taking out some walkers um, and pointing a gun. Fire's being set. Now, this also could be part of it as well. So if everything is tied together, um, God, this video is being so long already. Uh, so we got Rick on the bridge injured, if I can find it. I don't feel like going all the way back and searching through everything. All right, so we got Rick on the bridge injured. We've got some bloody boots 
there we go. So we got Rick on the bridge injured. We've got bloody boots pouring, you know, walking, pouring blood. Uh, then, of course, we've got, um, you know, Rick on the horse. I'm assuming is Rick on the horse. And maybe that could tie in with, you know, right here. Um, let's see, how do I put this all together? <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, so Rick is on the bridge injured. Then we got, maybe this is where he starts to pass out, faint. You know, it looks like his eyes are closed right now. So maybe the bridge is part one. This is part two. Maybe that shot with a silhouette and stuff like that. And the, um, you know, with the tree and the birds and stuff like that. Maybe that's what he's dreaming about, fantasizing about, hallucinating about. Uh, and then, of course, we come back to this shot right here. Uh, this is where Rick wakes up, sees the walker and stuff like that. Uh, and then, of course, we tie in with the boots walking, which could be after, you know, he wakes up. And maybe that's when he gets on the horse and leads the horde of walkers away. Maybe. Who knows? Again, just a theory. But as you can see, uh, Rick wakes up. Uh, and then, of course, we got Gregory here fighting Maggie. I think this is right where, um, you know, Gregory's done for. I think this is where the line in the sand has been drawn. You know, Maggie was kind of fair enough with him, you know, keeping him in the cell. Um, and then, of course, whatever happened during the time jump. But, um, yeah, we got we got Gregory here attacking Maggie, and I think this is going to be the end for Gregory. You know, you can see the knife in his hand. We got Michonne being a badass. Whoosh, awesome stuff. And then, of course, we got Rick and Daryl. We're on the same side, right? It's like, well, it's up to you. We got Michonne picking up something. I don't know. It looks like a club. Or unless that's Lucille. Is that Lucille? I don't know. It looks really... I don't know. That could be Lucille. I don't know. Right here kind of looks like it could be barbed wire. It looks kind of shiny up here, but I could be wrong. The Walking Dead. And then, of course, we've got... Um, you know, Magnus group and stuff like that, which unfortunately I don't know a lot about. Like I said, I did fall behind in the comics. I know general information. I know the whispers. I know, you know, heads in the pikes and stuff like that. So I don't know too much about, um, you know, all the details. But we got Magnus group and stuff like that. Looks like they're uh, about to be attacked. Someone's taking the hood off of her. Sneaking into a building. Maybe some backstory. And right here, the cool shot. We've got Eugene and we have Rosita. This is Eugene right here. If we can kind of time it. Whoop, yeah, see, it goes pretty quick. Yeah, there we go. So we got Eugene and we have Rosita here. Sliding down, hiding putting mud on their bodies. I do like how Rosita is doing it. She's doing it very, very, you know, you know, making sure like nothing gets on her face and stuff like that. And then of course you got Eugene who's just basically throwing it on his face, you know, so it's pretty funny. You know, it looks like Eugene's basically got, you know, a giant, <laughs> looks like Eugene's got basically a giant hunk of shit on his face where Rosita is pretty much clean-ish. But, um, you know, this is where we have the horde walking by, and that's where we get the whispers. Because if you listen very carefully, it is very hard to um, to hear. I don't know if we'll be able to hear it in this, but... See, it's kind of hard. Again, I don't know if you guys can hear it, um, but you guys will have to... Uh, go back it starts around 517 and they say where are they not a where are they but a where are they type of thing so it is kind of tricky to hear but let's see see so it's kind of hard to tell but hopefully you guys uh, can hear it 
and of course you know they're covering their mouse and stuff like that now what is very interesting is this I believe is only from the first five episodes I believe because episode six did get finished not too long ago and I don't know how long it takes to make a trailer like this I don't know if it takes you know a couple of days a week um, so I think this is from only the first five episodes so that seems like they encounter the whispers pretty early on um, you know I kind of hope not too early um, you know because we just did finish with the saviors and stuff like that so I think it would be pretty you know too soon to bring in you know the whispers right away but they seem to know about them I mean they're running down they're hiding uh, they're throwing mud on themselves and we got Rosita covering her mouth so yeah I don't know seems like they already know about the whispers unless you know Magna and her group encountered them already and warned them but you know I just find that very interesting that you know they're covering their mouth and stuff I don't know but um, yeah there we go there is uh, the trailer really cool stuff a lot of interesting um, you know stuff is happening I can't wait for season 9 um, you know yeah it's gonna kinda suck that Rick is leaving you know I do like how he left the question yeah this is my final season but me and Rick Grimes oh how did it go um, I forget what he said exactly but me and Rick Grimes are not through or something like that so it was very interesting the way he left it so but who knows I mean it is going to be interesting without him but I'm going to keep watching I want to see what happens um, you know because Rick has been you know obviously the main character and he's been the one that basically solved the problems if you will you know him and Shane granted yes Shane was a best friend and he was having you know one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one problems with him but Rick put down Shane then we had the governor and it was basically Rick and the governor you know Rick was the one negotiating with the governor Rick was the one fighting with the governor yes Michonne did jump in and help him but it was basically a Rick governor fight uh, then we had Terminus and you know once again Rick was the one making you know the threats and stuff like that you know red machete that's how I'm gonna kill you yada 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 and then of course at the at the um at the church and stuff like that where you know the terminus guys came in Rick basically put down Gareth and stuff like that so once again you know Rick obviously being the lead um, solving all the problems you know same thing kind of with the wolves you know Morgan lets him go and Rick was the one to put them all down and then of course Rick and Negan um, you know for obvious reasons you know was came down to Rick versus Negan in the final fight even though it was kind of Rick the king and the widow against Negan but it was basically Rick versus Negan so you know while being the main character Rick was the one solving all the problems and now with Rick gone they're gonna have to figure this out figure this stuff out on their own sorry I'm losing my track of thought here um, you know it's incredibly hot in here and uh, this video is way too long as it is but um, you know especially with the whispers coming uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how they handle them without Rick so that's what I'm looking forward to so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you made it this far I don't know um, but you know if you did hit that thumbs up button that'd be awesome remember feel free to subscribe to my channel follow me on social media links are in the description box below and leave me your thoughts and comments what do you guys think um, are you looking forward to season 9 yes no um, you know what do you think is starting all these fights between saviors and team family you know Rick and that say um, not Rick uh, Daryl and that savior let me know what you guys think and um, you know of course stick around more videos on the way I should have my fear the walking dead trailer breakdown video up pretty soon as well so stick around for that and um, you know like I said just stick around more videos on the way and I'll see you guys next time